Fish on. Oh, all right. Dealing with a lot of wind. And as the title of the video shows, I got a fish I got to talk about that's illegal to catch. Oh, this is a nice one. I think I can boat flip him. It's a nice channel cat. I'll open him now. Look at the size of that channel cat. Whoa! Ow, ow, ow biting down on me too very nice now this is not the fish that's illegal to catch so I'm going to talk about that here in a moment but first I want to release this guy really nice grow up all right one of you have brought to my attention that on my wildlife agencies website it says that you shall not fish for sturgeon which is completely opposite of what they told me in person and they sent me an email on it too they told me i could fish for them now since that's on a public website i'm going to default to that and say that i can't fish for sturgeon so when i'm using the bait like this where i've got night crawlers and skipjack of course, all the night crawlers is gone. I'm going to have to shout to the air and say, I'm fishing for channel catfish. You do have to realize anytime you have a worm on your hook or skipjack on your hook or gizzard chad on your hook, you're fishing for sturgeon. You actually have a chance to catch a sturgeon. A long time ago, I had a bunch of Fishing with Billy hats created and I gave them away. And one of the guys that had my hat that I gave to, the first time he went fishing with it, he caught a sturgeon while catfish fishing. And I'm hearing more and more people catching sturgeon. So they are getting easier to catch now. Now I do have another story to tell you guys, but uh, it's getting really windy. I may have to try moving spots. I was using my talons here, but it kept pushing me downstream, even with the talons down. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more night crawlers on this and get this back out there and see if I can catch another fish and then tell you the story about muskie being illegal to catch. All right, let's see if I can get another one in the boat. this spot because it's in the shade a little bit I don't know what the image quality is going to be on the camera I guess we get to see that or I get to see that when I edit and publish it which means you guys get to see but I tossed this one right next to a down tree there's a bunch of uh, well there's a bunch of down trees around here and I'm assuming it's a small channel cat trying to pull it into the brush I've never really fished this spot before. I know others who have fished this bank and they've caught catfish here before. I don't know if they've caught any flatheads. I'd uh, actually have to ask. I do know they've caught channel catfish because I saw them catch channel catfish here. Now let's see if I can get something hooked or if I'm gonna have to move again. Well, things aren't really going as I had hoped today. It happens. 
I've actually got one rod that is hung right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reel these up and try one more spot before I call it. Now, if I don't catch a fish at the next spot, I will still talk about the illegal muskie. At least hopefully, at least hopefully before I talk about that, at least hopefully before I talk about that, I get a fish in the boat. Whew, it is getting cold and this wind is crazy. I think in the past hour, the temperature has dropped about 20 degrees and I'm still in shorts, sandals and a shirt. It's getting cold out here. It did rain a little bit before I get out on the water, so I think a cold front has gone through and has shut everything down. So I have a feeling that I'm probably not going to catch another catfish today. Now I am going to tell the muskie story. Muskies used to be another fish that were illegal to target. I think muskie and sturgeon were added to the list at the same time. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Now, while muskies were illegal to fish, people started noticing them in the waterway. So they started fishing for them anyway, even though they were not legal to fish for. That includes guides. There were actual guides that were taking people out on the water to catch muskie while they were in the status of do not fish for this fish. Now, the wildlife agency actually caught wind of this. And what they did was they removed the fish from the list instead of doing fines or anything else to these people that were fishing for the muskies. And that's the fish of 10,000 casts. Now with any fish, you do have to know where they are to actually catch them. And it's the same thing with sturgeon. Sturgeon do move around and I have not figured out that pattern yet. But I do know that more and more people are actually catching them now. So I'm hoping it's only a matter of time that they do to sturgeon what they did to muskies in the past. Now, I think I'm gonna reel up my rods and reels and head back to the ramp. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this windy video. And as always, I wanna thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. It's time for me to go windsurfing back to the ramp and hopefully I'll be able to load the boat onto my trailer. It's really hard to load a boat on a trailer in crazy wind like this. So wish me luck, and I really do hope to see you next time. Thank you again for watching.